hello everyone if I want to remote the Windows PC like this so this video is for you so I will show you how to remotely control the Windows PC from the Mac so how to do that first of all guys you need to install the Windows app this is the latest video and it is working as of now okay so go to app store here in the Mac and on the search you need to type here Windows app once you type here Windows app this is a remote app you can see here you just need to click on get option here so once you click on get you need to click on install and once installation is done provide your Apple ID and user authentication and then download it so once you have downloaded the Windows app it will look like this as you can see here so first of all let me delete this one this one is my you just need to add the PC like this and make sure you are connected with the same network this is the obvious you need to click on this add plus button and in here you can put the IP address of your windows and rest of other thing you can do it later so you need to jump on to the Windows 11 or 10 PC in which you want to set up the remote desktop connection and on the search bar you need to type for remote desktop connection remote desktop this one remote desktop setting and you need to turn this on if it is off you are not able to take the remote from the Mac to Windows so you will get this feature in Windows Pro PC so press your Windows plus R button type on MS Info 32 and once you type that you will see here Microsoft Windows Pro and above edition if you have the home edition you will get the error your home edition of Windows 10 or 11 doesn't support the remote desktop connection it means you are not able to take the remote connection from Mac to Windows if you have the home edition or student edition okay so make sure you enable this option now and once you do that you can also press sysdm.cpl shortcut command remote make sure it is on like this so let me delete this now in order to okay uh, let me get here the host name of this computer or the system IP you need to enter into the Mac open the CMD here as a normal mode and type here IP config and you can see here 1.5 is my IP address or you can type here host name just you need to copy host name or IP address both are same let me show you how to set up that minimize it 1.5 let me delete it for you now first of all you will see the Windows app like this in the Mac you need to click on plus at PC I have already shown you in here you can type your host name or IP address let me type here the host name I have done that let me type here the IP address 1.6.1.5 and credential asked to required or even set up it automatically okay but let me set up here add credentials Dell is my host name, administrator is the user, and Dell Dell is my username and host name. Okay, so let me type here this when asked. Gateway is not required, but you can do that if you want. So let me add it now. Double click on the setup. Now you can see host name, the username should be. Dell is my PC name slash administrator 
and its password click on continue and show certificates if you want to continue this and also take this trust one and always trust always trust just click on this option okay and just click on continue here you can see another user is already logged in so Dell user is already logged in in this account and I'm going to log in with the administrator as you can see here after 30 seconds it will be auto logged in without any confirmation let's wait here guys getting the error since the new profile is logged in and after this I will set up the remote desktop connection with the help of hosting so you can see here it is asking so I have logged in with the administrator account you can see here name so let me log out this now let me cut it you can choose the multiple user accounts here in that PC let me type a Dell this time ask password let me add here Dell 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 is the host name slash administrator is the username then click on add and if I type a double click see here same account I have logged in with this account this is a Dell user account you can see here Dell user and previously we have logged in with the administrator accounts it means that you have logged in with the same user account and different user account on the same machine so I hope guys this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching